I've got some pay dirt from Cresson. What's going on, prospectors? Dig Daddy out here in the shed bringing you another episode of Backyard Prospecting. And that's right, we've got ourselves a box of dirt from Crisson Mining Company. I don't know why, but every time I say the name, I think Croissant and I think France, and I can't help it but to pronounce her name Crisson. <laughs> so we got today are their 30 and 1, 30 buckets concentrated down to 1. 31 gallons down to one, so it's really, what's that, six, five gallons down to, to one. Uh, but that's what we got today. Big old box of dirt. Um, something like a whole bunch of pounds to go through. So we're going to go through that today and uh, check it out. For those of you interested in picking some up or learning a little bit more about the dirt, I'll put up a page link here, or put up the page here for you to check out. And you can see pay dirt 30 and one they also have a couple other options uh, i think one's a 15 and one the other one's like a either a 70 or a 90 and a one uh essentially basically what what they got going on there at croissant is they run a mine they crush some more and then they concentrate it down into whatever amount you're buying um so they break it down to the one gallon point so it's easier to ship so that what, basically what we got here is a gallon of dirt um concentrated down from 30 others all right, let's do this. So we got our miner's claw. Please be careful. She is very sharp and very dangerous. And we gonna open this up. You wanna take a look? Now we're gonna have a lot of dirt to go through, so we're gonna skip past and through some spots here. I'm not gonna do the full classification on video well maybe we will we'll just super speed it up oh it's heavy and there we go so a little flyer from them to remind you who they are where they're at what they got um so not only do they have gold concentrates they also have gemstone concentrates so if you're more into it for the gems and you don't want to spend the cash on getting gold you can get buckets of just gems um, substantially cheaper. You got a 15 to 1 for 30 bucks, 15 to 1 of ore for 50 bucks, 30 to 1 of ore is 90 bucks, 30 to 1 gems is 60. Now, I'm not really sure how that works out when you're concentrating the gems. Maybe they have a pile of ore that's just gems and no gold. Um, but when you're concentrating it down from the same material, you'd think there'd be gold in everything. And maybe there is. I haven't checked out one of the gem bags, but who knows? Maybe there's gold in those too. So that's it for the box nothing else in there and here we got our bag of dirt it's pretty heavy but i would expect so because the dirt's all wet unfortunately so that's going to make classification a pain in the ass but i am curious how much weight a gallon of sands crushed sand gets crushed quartz so one gallon see that for yourself almost 10 and a half pounds of dirt here so today we are gonna have our work cut out for us we got uh you know i'm not even sure if i'm gonna be able to do the classification since it's all wet and since it's all mostly sand anyways i don't know if there's any point to doing the classification so we'll check out the dirt here in just a minute i'll dump it out into something we'll figure out how we're gonna go about this the bags themselves are thicker plastic baggies, but they are just your standard plastic baggies. There's no sealing going on here aside from this rubber band that keeps it closed. And then another one for the bag on the inside. Make it easier to show you the dirt this way. Sand. Almost looks like Home Depot sand. 
but knowing that they crushed their own quartz over there makes sense that it would look that way. Only difference is there should be more gold in here than the Home Depot bag. Now I haven't I haven't actually done a Home Depot bag yet. That's a lot of work for a little bit of gold. But apparently you get more sometimes you get more gold than the cost of the dirt or the sand, so it's worth it. If that's the case, then uh, yeah, you go buy up some dirt at Home Depot and it'd be all set. But for us here, we got this. And you know what? I'm looking at this dirt. I'm not classifying it. There's no point. And I'm going to grab one of the bigger pans here to dump it out into. High grade or $90 worth of dirt. Whew, glad I have a big pan. Jeez. That's what she said. Oh, uh, yeah. So, let's get this baggie wet. That's also what she said. And uh, we will run down any remaining dirts and sands that are in the bag get that off into the pile so we're not missing any of our, our precious gold Ooh. just right off the bat looking on top we got a picker we got a picker Houston, we have a picker. Kind of hard to show it and not lose it. There you go. First gold of the day. There's a dead bug in my cooker cup. Get out of there, dead bug. Bing. All right. Take that down a little bit. And let's wet it up. way we know that we got jet dry all the way throughout and gold is going to be less likely to go on a trip on top of the water. Don't really need to work too much to wet it up since the dirt itself is already wet but I just want to make sure I have jet dry moisture in there. And there we go. One more look at the dirt before we start running it. And there you go. There's a pile of dirty mud, quartzy crush, a little bit of mica. Pretty clean dirt though. No soot or anything, which is normal with ore, crushed ore from uh, from a mine as opposed to river rock or, uh, or whatnot. Because there's a lot of less organic crap to pile up in there all right well, anyways let's get this thing all set up and let's start running some dirt don't go nowhere all right we are back prospectors and we are ready to run a crap load of dirt 10 pounds ish of the croissant mine pay dirt so sit back and relax we'll run a few uh, scoops of this and then we're just gonna speed this baby along because uh there's a lot of dirt and uh, I don't want anybody falling asleep on me here. Or me falling asleep on me here. So let's get to it. First scoop is in.
every damn time. Back to it. So you kind of got an idea what it looks like. Uh, if you really want to sit here and stare at me going through 10 pounds of sands, by all means, tune in to the Just Solution, Just Slucin version of this video, and you'll get to watch all the excitement in real time. Otherwise, we're going to hit the fast forward at this point and speed things along, and we'll be back in just a couple minutes. Boom. There you go, baby. 
You know what we do next? We get it all dried up and we weigh it out. I'll let you know what it's all about. All right, we got this gold all dried up. We got Bob and the Asps on standby. We're ready to weigh this gold out. Let's check it out. Let's fire up that guy. Grab ourselves a weigh tray. Tear her out. And we're ready to rock. Now this again is Chris Owns 30 and 1. Gold pay dirt. No gems in this one. Strictly sands and gold. And we're exactly at one gram. Well, not exactly. 1.001 .001 grams of gold. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll be right back with our final words and official ROI. Sit back and relax, and we'll be right back. All right. So, we're back here. We got that dried out. 1.001 grams of gold. Um, before we go into gold, let's talk about the dirt. The dirt was crushed ore. Uh, was not river rock. Uh, it was fairly clean. All one type of rock throughout or one sand. Uh, the pieces that they provided, none were too large. So I was able to or run the dirt straight off. I didn't have to classify at all. Uh, which was nice. You know, I, I really appreciated that. I really hate it when the sellers throw in a bunch of big rocks that are obviously not gold, obviously above the the mesh point that they should be sending out to people. They just waste space and they take up weight. Um, so I don't appreciate when they do that. So I did appreciate the way that Croissant's dirt comes out. Um, but at 10 pounds of dirt, we only got one gram of, of gold out of that. Uh, and it was one gram on the dot now croissant says that they don't add gold that it is just the way it comes out um which uh i mean they say that but when you get one gram of gold on the dot like that there wasn't any small really small pieces in there which is how natural gold's gonna come out a lot of the time uh not any fly poop no gold dust nothing like that um so the bag itself kind of feels a little bit seeded, but I mean, again, it's gold and I would say gold's gold and I'll take it all and I will put that in my vial and smile about it. Uh, it's a little bit lower than I would have liked to see for that much dirt and that much work. Um, but there were some really nice pickers that I was able to get out of there. Some good chunks. Uh, I'll throw up some pictures of those for you guys and check those out. Um, uh, so yeah, I mean, there's, there's a couple nice pieces in there. Um, there are some smaller bits in there for sure, but it was a lot of dirt and, uh, took a quite a while to go through. My arm's sore from holding that pan up for so long. Um, but, you know, like I say, I had a pretty decent time going through it. Um, would have liked to see a little bit more gold, but, uh, wouldn't we all? So overall, we got about... What it come out to? You? Sixty-two bucks worth of gold, one gram. One gram is that's how much gold's going for today, and so we got about about sixty-two bucks worth of gold. Actually, let's go ahead and take a look at the official ROI right here, and you'll see we got sixty-two bucks worth of gold, and that's going to come out to around sixty-nine percent ROI. So it's not bad, you know, it's right around that 70% mark and uh, that's that's pretty good for pay dirt. 60 bucks back out of a $90 investment, it's not too terrible. I had some, I had a good time going through it. If you buy some of this, it's gonna have you digging through that stuff all day long. You might even spread it out over a couple weekends. Um, but uh, overall, it's not too bad. Definitely have gotten better ROIs from other dirt, but I would not say this is, was a bad experience whatsoever. Uh, really easy dirt to go through. Not a lot of heavies, not a lot of black sands. Uh, obviously, because it's crushed ore, it's only going to be what's in there. Um, so, yeah, you know, if you're if you're a beginner or you just want something to go through, I would say give them a check out. 
uh, Chris on mine. I'll put a link down below as always so you can go check out the, the bag that I bought as well as their other offerings. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much that. So Chris on mine, not too bad. Around 70% ROI, 69 to be exact. Um, and a pretty decent time going through it. Didn't have any weirdness to the dirt. Consistent. Had a good time going through it. Would have been nice if it wasn't wet, but... You know, since I didn't have to classify it, it being wet didn't really actually turn out to be a big deal. Um, whereas with a lot of other sellers, when they do put the bigger chunks in, you have to classify it so you can get it through the sluice. Uh, when they ship it wet, it's a huge, it just makes it a huge pain in the ass. Uh, didn't run into that here, so good on you guys, Chris on, Chris on Mines. Uh, much appreciated what you sent out. Or what, well, what am I saying? Appreciate it. Much appreciate what I bought from you guys to have sent out and uh, the gold that I found in it. So, other than that, that's pretty much that, you know? Uh, I just want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Backyard Prospecting, I'm always happy to have you guys here. Happy to hang out with you. Uh, tune in Mondays, 5 p.m. Pacific for my live show, BSing in the Shed. Uh, backyard Streaming, uh, where we run a little bit of dirt there as well, and uh, somebody gets to take some home or get some sent to their home uh, every time when we have a raffle. So check that out. Uh, other than that, go check out my Teespring. Uh, get yourself some shirts and stickers and all that stuff. Uh, if you haven't and you'd like to support the channel, please check me out on Patreon. Um, I have a couple different levels of support that you can check out there as well. Otherwise, thank you all for tuning in. This is Dig Daddy signing out from the shed. Backyard prospecting. If I don't see you out on the river, I'll check you in the backyard. Peace. <laughs>